Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I get asked a lot, how can I make a fruit acid pill product? So today I'm going to show you how to create an extremely mild but effective fruit acid pill. Let me show you how it's done. Now this is the product we're gonna be creating today. As you can see, it's a beautiful gel form. It's really stable. It does have a final pH of 3.5, but that is to make sure it has a really effective skin renewal function. Now the great thing about this product, it's not actually gonna peel the skin off your face. It's actually just going to remove the outer layer of dead skin cells so you have beautifully renewed skin after use. Now to make this product super mild, I have got my water here and to this I'm just adding some allantoin. Now the next step is to add my fruit acids. And I'm using the Tri-K Fission Penta Fruit V. Now this is an amazing material. Just look at the inky list that goes with this material. It's got lactic acid, glycolic acid, blueberry extract, sugar cane, sugar maple, orange, lemon, tartaric, and malic acid in it. Making it a really effective skin renewal product with the allantoin and with another special ingredient I'm about to add, makes it super mild on the skin. Here's my other important ingredient. I'm using a high molecular weight sodium hyaluronate. Now this acts as a film former and it also acts as a skin conditioning agent to make the product feel absolutely beautiful on application and make sure it's really gentle on the user. Now when you first add your sodium hyaluronate, don't worry if it looks a little bit like this. This is not like having fish eyes with a natural gum. It will hydrate given enough time and a little bit of stirring. Now, since I've added that, I'm also just going to add my preservative. Now, as I've mentioned, the final formula does come out at a pH of 3.5, but you still need to preserve a formula. Even when it has such an acidic pH, it still needs some protection from opportunistic organisms. Now, we just give this a stir. Now on the day you make it, if you leave it like this, make sure you cover it. It will hydrate fully overnight. By the next day, you'll have your beautiful gel product form. Now a couple of really important things if you're going to create this type of formula. The first is to check the glycolic acid regulations for your region. The rules about how much glycolic acid can be present in your product and its final pH differ around the world. Make sure you also keep the pH low unless your regulations require you to raise them. This formula comes out with a pH between 3.5 to 3.6, which is perfect for the bioavailability of these alpha hydroxy acids and the rest of the materials. Important application instructions are to apply it to the skin, leave it for 15 minutes and then wash off the excess or you can wipe off the excess and follow it with a specially made moisturizer which has a pH of six or above. This will leave the skin perfectly pH balanced. You should also add a condition with any AHA or acid pill type products that your consumer should be using an SPF 15 or higher during the day when exposed to the sun. And this is because you're removing the outer layer of dead skin cells, which help provide some photoprotective benefits. Since we're renewing that skin, we're exposing fresher cells to the sun, so they need extra protection. But advising your customers to use an SPF product is always a great idea. Now, some of your small suppliers have this material. Otherwise, please join our Cosmetic Raw Materials for Small Brands Facebook group and split a pack of the Tri-K Fission Penta Fruit V with someone near you so you can get creating your own highly effective but mild fruit acid peel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.